Okay, hello, um, hello everybody, welcome to the first Rebel quarterfinal that was played uh, between myself and Sauce slash High Lord Salt. Um, as you can see, he won the toss and chose to receive, and then got to move hit, uh, a rookie beast under the ball rather than his sweet ball carrier. Um, yeah, so if we let's pause it and look at the players, eh? Um, he's got a full claw palm blitzer with Juggernaut. He's got three really good warriors, all with stand firm, claw mighty blow, block, and obviously regen, foul appearance. Um, so really, really good blockers. And uh, he's also got old guard stand firm. Beast of Nurgle. So, you know, he's got he's got some good players. He's, he hasn't got many good players, has he? He's only got basically three, four, five, five good players. And uh, I've got like eight good players, kind of. Uh, he's got a great ball carrier that hasn't got the ball. Kind of agility five with the uh, agility four and two heads. So that's one to watch out for. And then I've got these four strength up guys, obviously. Uh, a couple of guarders. Claw Mighty with tackle. Quite a lot of tackle, actually. Um, Three tacklers, um, full claw palm, two full claw palms, one with tackle, a couple of guard warriors as well. So, um, so yeah, so this was an interesting fight, right? Because in the lead up to it, I thought the Nurgle team is the best at fighting, not the killing it. It's not the killiest team, but it's the best fighting team in the playoffs. And rather than approaching it like that, I approached it like it was a really killy team, and I shouldn't have. I, I, I regretfully, I, I look back on this with a lot of regret, because um, they weren't that killy. They're not that killy. They, all they've got is a claw pop, which re which really isn't a lot. So they, they, and they've got okay, they've got claw mighty, but claw mighty isn't that good really. So before the match, I was focused on like what a bashy team he's got. But it's a bashy team because he's got nine region. Oh yeah, he got inducements. He got two uh, two rookie, two uh, mercenary rotters as inducement to give him a bench. Um, so I was focused on that, on being scared of him and trying to win while not getting out attrition. But the whole point was I can't out attrition him because of the region. So I should have been thinking I can't out bash him. I've just got to out ball him. But um, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking he's really dangerous. I've got to not get clawed to pieces, which was a bit wrong. <laughs> was a bit wrong, I think. Claw Mighty Blow isn't that good, really. It isn't without without piling on. It was a dream first turn, yep. Yeah. Absolute dream first turn. No one got removed, and then I removed one back, and a dream second turn as well, I think. Fen doing work here stops the beast getting into those two. Not that he probably would have done anyway, but he might have done. Doesn't doesn't have the balls to follow up into the claw pommers uh, <laughs> tackle zone. Funnily enough, in case he got a straight up injury. Yeah, so, I mean, this is going great now, isn't it? These first two turns, he's done no damage, but he hasn't got that that much of a killy team. He's just got an annoying team with a strength five guard, you know, a, a strength five player with guard, more guard, the foul appearance. He's got an annoying. Now I, I made a mistake here because I moved this guy first. I'll, I'll pause it. I moved this guy first because my plan was to three dice blitz, move in two players and three dice blitz with the uh, strength five. Now, if I'd known this guy just moved two squares, this guy could have gone all the way over to there and been the exposed one. So I made a mistake there, um, I think. But, because, you know, the guards are quite important, aren't they? Um, oh, glorious. We are having a Twitch baby. Love your decent family friendly stream. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Yuri Styles. Thanks for staying fantastic for nine whole months. Glorious. Thank you very much. Yeah, it is a proper annoying control team. And now I think in turn three, High Lord Salt is just like, right, I've had enough of this. We're going to have a big scrap. Which is my fear because I'm not very good at having a scrap against his team. So, you know, he's he's... He's basing up. He's going for the win, isn't he? He might take some attrition here by basing up, but he's just going for it. No fucks given. He is he is trying to win the match. Um, and yeah, and he blitzes this guy. Now, I think if I'd had the rookie there, he'd have blitzed the rookie as well. Um, 
But he blitzed this guy again. He, oh no, he does follow up. And he gets the Kaz. I was going to say he can't follow up because of the Claw Pond, but he does follow up this time. Gets the Kaz, and I don't Apo it. Now, again, I, I just... Wrong tactics. I should have Apoed. I should have Apoed this, and I should have tried to win the game at all costs. And I wasn't. I was playing like I played the round of 64 and the round of 32 and the round of 16, which was trying to win whilst outbashing my opponent, saving my Apo for important casualties, trying to get through with minimal damage. And uh, while I did get through every other game with minimal damage and got through them all and with minimal damage, this one, because it was such a scary bashy team, I was focused on not getting out bashed, but that was wrong. It was so wrong because it doesn't have the kill power. He doesn't have the kill power, it, it, so I was wrong. Anyway, I got a Kaz there, but he regens. Obviously, that would have been a huge Kaz um, if, I, if that had stuck, but it didn't. And, you know, because I've got so much strength in my team, I should be able to knock pretty much everybody clear here. Which I believe I do. So, I mean, that's a nice stun, that. Very nice stun. Pow there. And a KO. Huge KO. I mean, once I make this KO, right, I've got to do everything I can to stop the touchdown this, this drive, right? I have to do absolutely everything in my power to stop the touchdown. <laughs> now that I've made that KO. Um... You would think. I mean, that was a great trade for me. He based up, got three players, well, two players removed on the basing up. Uh, well, really only one player removed by basing because I would have blitzed anyway. And uh, now he basically, he's basically potatoing now, right? This is uh, very dodgy for him. Yeah, in ruins, but this is the thing. I kind of thought I would win, right? I just thought I would, I would win. And I wanted to keep my team alive for the next round. Um, and I wanted to outbash him so that I would have a team for the next round rather than thinking about the game that I was in. I, you know, if, if this had been for 100 euros, I would have appled the badly hurt. And, uh, and that's probably what I should have done. And he's made a couple of removals of his own there. So now all of a sudden it's eight aside, right, isn't it? He's, he's, made, he's made three removals now. But his Kaz is stuck because I didn't apple it. So now, looking at this turn, it seems obvious what to do, right? Although I'm not up men anymore. Um, you know, with that block there, we've got five players, six players here. If I can clear this guy, then I can slam it over here. So the, the strength five could have blitzed him, which would have been a pretty nice move. Could have blitzed the wrestler. You know, could have done, could have done lots of things. But, um... I, again, I become fixated on this having to fight him, despite despite the fact that that was not what I had to do <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I just base there rather than blitzing him, and then blitz this one, and then he foul appearances me. So. And I move there to foul, then because I also become a bit fixed, and I should have rerolled this GFI. I think um, I had three rerolls. I probably should have rerolled that because with having two, it would have made it a lot harder for him to get forward. But leaving just one on made it kind of easy for him to deal with, didn't it? So I think I probably should have rerolled that GFI there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. In runes, my, my team is great. You know, my team is obviously great. And so every game I've been trying to win while keeping my players alive. And this was probably one of those occasions where I should have really focused. And now now he greeted that reroll, which was very greedy, wasn't it? And then he gets punished with a 1 in 36 there. So now, I mean, <laughs> all I've got to do is knock this guy down. And then I can, uh, then I can um, come around and hit the ball easily, can't I? So... And then this is a really unlucky one in nine, really unlucky one in nine, getting wrestled. His wrestle guy was amazing there. You know, if I just, even if I just pushed him, the fact that I would have had him marked up with an extra strength would be huge. Um, so in the end, I, so get rid of this guy, greed this. This, this is not again not really a greed because I really want the knockdown so I can hit the ball. 
Um, <laughs> get the, uh, get the knockdown. And now, yeah, pile on, of course. Of course I'm going to pile on. It's his killer. And Kazim. So not only was I hitting his killer, I was it was also blocking the path. So I get the Kaz and he regens. So that's a bit unlucky that he's passed two regens out of two. And now we have this tackle, strength four tackle, and the ball. Now, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, and that's you hit the ball on two dice, right? But I was thinking, if I blitz him, I can only hit him from this direction, so I can only push him to one of these two squares. This this edge four guy is basically edge five, and he's just going to go and pick up the ball. You know, he can blitz one, and then he can, he can just run around and pick it up. So I thought, there's no point in me knocking the ball out. I've got to knock this guy, and then get players in the way. Um... So, I don't know if I was right or wrong, but I think my mistake was on turn four, not committing more over the side, uh, that side. I think my, 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 my mistake was not committing to that side earlier. And also, being unlucky with his one in nine, I mean, if that had just been a, a push even, he would have been in a really bad spot. But the fact that my guy was going to be down was just horrible. Um, you see, he had this player here, so he could have brought this guy in. He, he was going to clear it pretty easily if, I, if I'd hit the ball, I thought. And I'd rather him have it on a... On a skills player. Also, last turn I should have, last action I should have got this wrestle dodged out. I don't know why I didn't dodge the wrestle back. That would have been huge. Three, four, five, six. If I'd had that wrestler here, I'd have been golden, wouldn't I? So I probably should have, uh, probably should have gone for the dodge for that wrestler. So I mean, he fails there, but again, I can't really reach him. This, this, this was really huge. This wrestle earlier, and then I could dodge for two D. And, uh, yeah, I really should have probably just dodged for the 2D there. It, but again, I thought, you know what? This guy's just going to pick it up again. So I blitzed him. <laughs> just because I thought he would he would pick it up. And, uh... And then I think I'll just try a dodge and mark the ball. And then I fail the dodge, don't re-roll it, and get cast. <laughs> so that was fun, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think the big mistake was not dodging out the last turn and stuff. So then he just takes the score, obviously. And he ends up with a pretty good stall at the end of the day. And uh, Yeah, I think I just should have committed on turn four. I think that was the... Th my problem on turn four was... The problem with my defense was going for damage on turn four. And just in general being more scared than I should have been. I should have appled that badly hurt. Um, and I basically played too scared. My problem in this game was not getting out bashed. It was playing too scared. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> um, yeah. Because, like, you know, the, the undead team was scary that I played in the in the previous round. But, I mean, I got incredibly lucky. You only made 4 AB based in the entire match. But that was a really scary game because, again, I was like... I thought I would win, but I was trying to win without any damage. <laughs> and I guess in that match, I should have just, you know, stopped at nothing to win. I guess, you know, probably, maybe it's every game in the playoffs I should have been. But um, particularly this one, if there was ever a time. So obviously I put this guy on the sideline so he's not in the stink. And I put my, uh, I didn't put my tackle guy over there. I thought I'd put my tackle guy over there to blitz the, uh, to blitz this guy, right? Because he's got dodge, so I've got my tackle palm. So then I realise this isn't him, so I move him out, and then don't move my guy over there. Um, so that is just really terrible. Terrible, terrible play. This, the tackler was meant to be here, stopping the surf, and yes, this the reason for him was to be out of the stink range. I could have put him back too, but I thought um, better to put him on the sideline. And yeah, I just completely fucked up here. Did not put my tackle in the right place. Um... And then he gets the absolute perfect kick. Like, unbelievable. Opposite corner. Outrageous. And then, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm really happy that I'm going to power this guy here. And, oh, I've blitzed with the wrong fella. Wow. We will not advance as a society until medical and nutritional sciences discover a way to... Prevent my poop from turning green after eating Lucky Charms. Thanks, Johnny Five. <laughs> so yes, that was a huge mistake. Just literally having the wrong warrior blitzing, just inexcusable. You know, I could have cast that that Nurgle warrior with that blitz, and at least just had him down. Uh, you know, maybe KO'd like this, like this one. So really, really terrible. You know, no excuses for that. That was just bad. I realised I wasn't going to pass to him this turn. 
So I thought I'll move him up now. Obviously should have done safe moves first. But um, he's in range, isn't he? Just with two GFIs. So that's all right. <laughs> no, okay, fool, no, but uh, <laughs> no, that's it. You know, I think I'm being pretty honest here. This is this is my, this was my fear in the in the game was was basically getting out bashed. But it wasn't. It wasn't out before the match. I was thinking it through, thinking I can't out bash this team. And then when it came to the actual game, I started thinking about not taking damage. Whereas that wasn't my concern. It was the nine region. I was never gonna, you know, get. Get his important players. Well, I mean, I might have done. Obviously, if I'd been lucky, I would have got his important players off. Um, he does a nice play here, it looks like, to get this so he can chain this guy back out of range. But um, he doesn't do it. He just he just goes for a better player. So I've still got the chance of scoring with this guy. But yeah, he could have done a chain to get me out of range, couldn't he? And greed that. And no knockdown. So, I mean, he's been pretty unlucky with his block dice. And he's been kind of lucky with the cars, really, because this was from a dodge. This KO stayed out. And I should have appled that one. Uh, Fail the foul appearance to... I mean, I might have removed him as well, might I? Hitting him with claw and everything. Um, do the pass. And fails the intercept. And fail the pass. And, I mean, you know, I was pretty, uh, pretty asking a lot there. This is going to be a 5-plus catch. So I didn't really hold out much hope. But, you know, if I'd, if I'd knocked this guy down, um, I could have maybe knocked the other one and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it was all... It was all... It was all bad, that <laughs> that half. I mean, I really, really should have played the ball more um, and stopped him. And then I, fi I failed a KO roll again. So that's uh, two fails on that KO. So now I'm down two of my best players. Two of my, two of my strength four and two of my guard. So now he's out guarding me. He's got three guard and I've only got two. And now it's it's going to be really tough this half. And this was kind of my fear, you know. I can't I can't remove his his Nurgle warriors very easily. And I've had two of mine review removed. And uh, this is going pretty pretty as uh, much as I feared. But it was kind of my choice because I should have played the ball more. God damn it! I should have realised he didn't have like hippies team. I'd be super scared of taking Kaz and stuff. Um, this team I shouldn't have been scared of taking Kaz. I should have been scared about getting in a big brawl. And um, that was the problem with the stand firm and foul appearance and everything. And the regen was the problem was not being able to beat him up. Bit of a horrible kick here because I, I don't I never like caging close to the uh, close to the LOS straight away. Never mind. A nice Kaz there. But again, a crap player. And he, he doesn't field his uh, his amazing ball sacker here. I mean, th this is an agility five player with block, right? So that can just blitz the ball easily. So I was in, I was shocked that he, he kept him off the pitch because that was an amazing thing to not have to worry about on offense. Right, so two removals there. That's good, isn't it? So now, I mean, I was on 10 players as well, right? Because I was on 10 players, I was thinking, I've got to outbash him, I've got to outbash him. But now it's 10 versus 9. So really, all I should be thinking is, <laughs> I've just got to score. That's the only thing that matters. <laughs> but instead... I'm still in this horrible, this horrible uh, thinking of, I've got to try and outbash him. Yeah, so it's t ten versus nine, so I've got a one-man advantage at this point. And it's not looking bad though. I mean, you know, okay, it's looking bad for me in overtime. But if I win the toss in overtime, I'm going to win, aren't I? But I really should not have been playing for overtime. I should have really been. I really should not try to outfight him. I don't know how many times I can say that in in one in one replay, but here here now losing the guard is where it's really screwing me, isn't it? Because I really need the guard to fight his his higher strength guys. Obviously, he goes for the guard there. Greed, horrible greed reroll there, in my opinion. But it is to base the ball as well, I guess, with stand firm. Luckily for me, he doesn't cast him. But now there's only one guard on the pit on standing up for me. So yeah, hit him, and then we've got a a claw palm to clear the stand firm. Is nice, isn't it? 
And another removal, so now it's 10 versus 8. And like, he's, he's, he's done a good job, to be fair, of jamming in all of his strength in his guard in like one place. Like, he, he, did, he did position quite well there, I think. Um, and obviously this stun was big. The pylon was big, because I'm not stood there anymore. But then I don't want to get claw pommed as well. No removal again. And like he hangs him out to dry. Distract. Distraction on the claw mighty. But I don't remove him. And then, you know, if only 2D the beast, I need three players, don't I? There's 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 no two ways about it. So I think I can't deal with these because I ain't got the guard or the strength at this in this area and this half of the pitch. He's out strengthening me and out guarding me. So, get the knockdown though, and now what do I do? Bring him back a bit. No, no, just put him in there. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought him back a bit, because there's a, there's just a hole here, isn't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could have just based the ball there without rolling any dice. So I probably should have brought the wrestle back, <laughs> uh, but didn't. And he gets removed. Poor old meat slabs. I mean, there's maybe I can surf here, um, but it'll take quite a lot of commitment. Another pylon. And another survive. But now it's horrible, because now I've got, I haven't got the guards. Again, he's, he's going for my guard again. And... Uh, you know, I can't hit I can't hit his strength fours. He's totally outstrengthening me. Even though we've kind of got equal strength or I've got more strength or whatever in the number of strength fours. He's he's outstrengthening me at the point of attack, isn't he? Because I haven't got any guards at all here with this stun. And this one can't really do a whole lot. He can't use his guard. Um Maybe I could have gone in there and uh two D'd him and stuff, I don't know. Um instead I decided to go and punch the beast. This seems ill advised. I think maybe I should have tried to punch him. Oh, it's because I was going for a foul. I was going for a cheeky foul on his killer. Because again, even at this, as bad as this is going, I'm still thinking. I can foul his killer and then I'll take less damage while I win. <laughs> you know, this was... <laughs> you can tell that I'm, I'm playing the wrong game here. He's just going after the ball 100% and trying to stop the score 100%. And I'm just thinking, how can I stop my guys dying? And now he's got hardly any players, has he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players is all he's got on the pitch. Um, and and now it's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> now it's really bad because he does the claw pom blitz, greeds it, and uh, yeah, right. So if we have if we have pause here, if we pause here. As you can see, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And so I wanted to get the ball up here. Now maybe I should have done that first. And also one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, right? So I wanted to actually GFI. And what I want to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI to here. Essentially is where I want to go. Um And you've got players here, so I want to block him and stuff, and then free him up. But basically, because I've got no guards, it's like Everything's pretty tough. All my blocks... He can't see any skills anymore. Um, all my blocks are pretty tough. This guard's in here, but... You know, I didn't have anything, like, really easy or nice to do. So I thought, I'll blitz him down, make the ball safe, and then do some other blocks. Um, now I'll get the wrestle. So what I should have done, after using the wrestle, of course, is... I should have just thought, oh, well, I can move over here, right? And then be safe from both of them. But it is turn 12. Um... And I'm running out of time to score, so I really want to at least push him so he's here, and I can move the ball up and then maybe get a screen out. Reroll the both down, get double skulls, and now it's game over. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> because yeah, that is that is GG, that isn't it? So you know, I uh, really so exactly what I was afraid of happened. I got in a big scrap with foul appearance, stand firm, guys. And finally, his weight of claw hits pays off as he gets a removal there. 
And another removal there. And <laughs> kills a guy. And I didn't apple now because I knew I'd lost. <laughs> so there was no need to apple. It's hard, but it's it's because I, it's because I was trying to avoid getting killed, you know, doing that dodging way for that foul, and it's because I didn't want to give up claw claw palm hits and everything and claw mighty blow hits. So because I was so playing so scared, it made me play kind of bad, and not just bash focused. I was like also not getting bash focused. That was the that was the problem. Um, so yeah, so now obviously he's, he's had no players as well, but I mean that killed it for me. There was the removal. There's nothing I can do, so I just lay it down now. And skip turns <laughs> to the point where he can score on an ogle warrior. Um, you know, so he ended up doing loads of damage to me in the end. Um, but I think I should have. Yeah, there might have been a chance still, some kind of a chance. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, in ruins maybe. You know, but I can take it on the chin. I, I, that, I know exactly what I did wrong. And and I did I did the same wrong thing in all my other games in this tournament, you know. Or every game I was trying to win with min minimal damage. Because I, I, I thought I was going to win every game, you know. I freely admit that that I thought I was going to win every game just because my team is really fucking good. And if I had played properly, I would have won this game. I'm sure I would have won this game if I had if I had appled the uh, the guard and if I had kind of played properly all the time. I would have taken more claw palm hits and I would have taken claw mighty blow hits. So maybe I wouldn't have won it. You know, maybe I wouldn't have. Maybe I would have taken so much damage by playing properly that I would have been out. But he didn't really have a big damage-causing team. So I don't think I would have taken that much damage um, had I just, like, you know, played the ball and gone for the win 100%. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Also, of course, I could have played the way that I did and I could have cast his, you know, the Kaz, either Kaz, either those Kaz would have stuck. Then I still probably win, don't I? Even playing the way I played. So it's hard to say. It's really hard to say that I played it wrong just because it went wrong. Um, because on another day I win and take minimal damage or I play to only win at any cost and take loads of damage and then maybe still lose so um, but there you go all credit to him he, he only played to win the game so you know he, obviously he's got regen but he still he, he engaged with his claw mighties and, uh, and took so, quite a lot of claw palm hits and came out unscathed so you know f fair play to him he, he, did, he went for the win a lot more than I did but that was probably true of everyone that I played <laughs> it's just this time uh, you know maybe I should have shifted gears especially as uh, I was likely to be playing Dwarves in the semi-final a very favourable matchup for them in the quarters and obviously Dwarves the Dwarf team would have been an amazing matchup for me so I really probably should have gone all out to win this game so that um, knowing that I basically had a buy in the semi-final but there you go. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.